Hi guys and welcome back for a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Aura function on the Asus ROG Strix graphics card. For this I'm going to use the new 1080 Ti GeForce GTX graphics card. Uh, so this is the software, the Aura software for graphics cards. It has the Rogo logo and on the top of the screen there's the master switch when you turn it off uh, you can see in the lower left side of the screen the lights turn instantly off you don't even need to push apply then if you want to turn it back on you just press on and the light is back on By default the the card works in breathing mode. It's some slow transition between on and off. This is the color selector, the RGB color selector. We have the brightness level here. and here we have some white uh, white setting for the light okay uh, what you need to know is that you uh, you must uh, press apply after each setting like this and uh, you can see the the result instantly there's no waiting for this Let's change the color to see how it looks. Okay, so I changed the color and now I'm going to change the, the brightness too. You see, the change is instant. And you have uh, the the Asus logo in uh, in the app is like uh, a small preview. Okay, let's try the white. Well, the white is is not quite white. It's a bit bluish or pinky or something. but the blue looks really, really good it's pretty electric and if you want it to be more discreet you can lower the brightness and then get it back up if you want and back to red You should pay uh, attention to red because uh, only a small move of the slider will uh, will completely change the the tone of the color. And let's switch to to the white setting. You see, we don't have white, pure white. I mean. But it's nice anyway. And back up. Okay. The next mode is uh, the most simple one. It's called static, and it does uh, just what it says it does. It's 
an always on mode and you have the same the same tools the color slider the brightness slider and uh, the white setting function I'm going to browse through the same settings as before this time you will be able to to better see the differences between the different different settings and again the the white mode which as I told you is, it's not quite white then there's the strobing mode it's some on and off function basically your graphics card will blink and you can adjust again the brightness like this and of course the color and for each color you can you can select the brightness as you wish I'm just going to show you again how it looks for a few colors and what you should know is that uh, there's also uh, an illuminated uh, Republic of Gamers logo on the backplate of the card and its color and function and brightness is uh, synchronized to the lighting on the front of the card the one you can see in this video and the last standard mode is the color cycle which uh, basically provides you with a slow transition between the available colors there's no there are no settings available 
for this mode. Although a brightness slider, uh, it would have probably been nice. Although it looks like a Christmas tree, this actually is pretty nice. And then we have the special effects with no ava available settings also. So the first one is the music mode. Uh, if there's no sound, uh, the card will be completely off. But I'm going to play some, some ACDC right away. And you'll see what it can do. So it goes like this. <coughs> Basically the the lighting, the lights uh, function uh, on the rhythm of the music you are playing. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, but uh, I think uh, it should have been uh, an option to to keep the the aura function on when uh, there's no music playing because if there's no music uh, the the lights will be off when you use uh, the music effect like this And the last one, there's one more, the GPU temperature mode. Basically the, the color will change according to, to, to the temperature of your GPU. This is a nice feature, but uh, unfortunately it is useless for, for this card, because uh, it runs pretty cool so what I'm doing here is uh, running uh, for mark to to stress the card to stress the GPU and uh, to to raise the heat. The problem is that uh, the this card uh, will stay around uh, 60 degrees Celsius in full mark and around 65 or 66 in heavy heavy load games and uh, this is too low to, to get the, the color of, uh, of the lights to, to change so the, the feature is, is nice but uh, ASUS should, uh, should allow the, the user to, to change the limits when uh, where the the card uh, change changes its color so we are now uh, at around uh, 57 degrees and as you can see there's no change only the fans started spinning because the temperature went up I'm gonna let it uh, run a little bit more just to, to show you that there won't be any change
Okay, I think that's enough. So, as you can see, there's still no change. And you can see here the, the usage and the temperature and the max max temperature which is actually quite far from the 80 degrees shown on the Aura software it's quite amazing how cool this card can can stay but unfortunately the the guys uh, working on the software on the Aura software uh, forgot about that okay so that's about all guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time